Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. So today I'm going to be covering how to install uh, snapshots for your uh, testing and reporting bugs. So if you haven't watched uh, my previous tutorials on uh, how to report bugs to M Creator and how to um, Basic, what basically an overview of what snapshots are and why they're important, uh, then I will link to those down in the description of the video. You guys can watch those two videos if you want to. Um, now, for snapshots, uh, we're going to be covering the how to install, where to get them, and um, basically how to back up your workspace and uh, test your workspaces with the snapshot version. So for what you need to do is go to the download. Uh, first thing is mcrater.net is the website that you need to go to. And then you want to go to the downloads page. And then finally down here, you'll have your latest stable version. And if you scroll a little bit more down, uh, there is a mcrater snapshot downloads. So if you go here, then there will be mcrater and then uh, a few different options for the uh, snapshots that were recently released. So uh, our current build at this current time is 2020.4 and this is the build number. It's the first release uh, for 2020.4. So you want to download this by clicking on the button and then if you go to your uh, Windows folder and then go to downloads there will be a uh, zip archive that you can basically extract right click on it go extract all just follow the um, file explorer to set uh, extract it to the same folder generally the path will be set up to where you want to basically export it to as the same directory that it's currently in uh, just click the extract button when you're ready so you'll get a folder basically with another folder in it, which is the actual file uh, workspace for the snapshot that it comes in. Uh, the folder that is, it basically generates is just a new folder that Windows basically creates for, that per for all the files in the zip. And because it's already in a folder, it just creates another folder. So in that folder, uh, you'll have all your uh, snapshot files that you need for testing. Uh, what I'm gonna, what I usually do is uh, just cut this, and I usually place it on my desktop, just somewhere easy for me to access. And uh, then we need to do a couple things to get it working uh, efficiently. So if you're on Windows, uh, you have Windows Defender, and uh, most likely you won't be able to run the program. So if you click on it, it'll say Windows is protected, uh, your PC. Um, this is because uh, it's a free uh, application and they um, don't have enough money to basically pay for a proper license to get the uh, code to register as a quote unquote safe product because it's an extra fee that they can't afford. So what you need to do is uh, unblock it. So if you go to properties and then down here right at the bottom it says unblock and then click that and you're fine to go. So now generally this will be perfectly fine for any uh, person with a lower quality monitor. I'm currently on a 4K monitor and it's really hard to see. Uh, this is also due to the Java version that Minecraft uses. So without you know messing around with too much, if you have that issue, if you're on a 4K monitor, you can go to properties, you can go to compatibility, and then what you can go to down to is the uh, change high DPI settings and click that button. And then what you can do is you can override high DPI behavior. So check this box and then you can select, uh, it should be on application by default. You want to either have it on system or system enhanced and then click OK and then click apply. Uh, what this will do is it will give the uh, Windows priority over resizing the application to be best suited for your uh, viewing. So when you're using your Windows settings and stuff like that, 
it'll try to um, resize it to what your monitor would be best for viewing. Uh, that's a window, Windows feature, but uh, because the Java 8 is not great for working with that particular feature, it's been because Java 8 was released before uh, Windows 10, I believe, there's some issues with it, so you have to fix it that way. Uh, now, before you do anything, um, what you want to do is you want to go to your stable version of mCrater. I always have mine at the top here. This is the 2020.3, uh, my stable one. You want to uh, make sure that you basically back up your workspace. So if you go to uh, this workspace that I have working on right now, uh, there's an error with it, I think, but um, we'll just compile that, see if that fixes anything. Uh, probably not, maybe not. I hope it does. I could just delete that, I know what the issue is, so. Um, yeah, all right, so we can just delete that, that's fine. I know, yeah, I was trying to override a uh, key bind and it wasn't working. All right, so uh, if you go to your workspace, no, pardon me, uh, if you go to file, and then if you go to export workspace, you want to give it the uh, same name as your um, you're basically your workspace name. So, uh, flight, uh, fight, or flight, and then you want to say what version it is. So we're currently working on 20, 20, and then we'll do 0.3. And then what we'll do is we'll save that to our desktop and this will save it as a um, zip file that we can basically import going through, um, I'll show you how to basically do that after. But uh, if we go back to our folder that we have our mCreator snapshot in, what we can do is now run this. And uh, when you first launch it, it'll say that it's not for a, um, basically for developing or producing mods. It's only for um, basically finding bugs and reporting them. So when you have that all set up, uh, you can click on that. And uh, by default, if you've backed up your workspace, it should be at the top here uh, because it's the same folder. When you have that all set up, uh, what you can do is you can basically just right click on it and it will generate what needs to be done for updating it to the um, snapshot version. So when that's all done, uh, you can test it, see if the mod's working. If you have any compiling errors, uh, you might want to report those to mCreator or uh, seek help for it. Uh, try to basically open a proper bug report. Again, watch the video that I made before. And uh, lastly, uh, if you are, if you notice that there's no bugs or anything like that, and you want to go back to developing your other version of mCreator, uh, if you go to your um, mCreator workspace folder, and then you go back one folder, uh, you'll be you'll be able to see all your folders where your workspace is. So you want to close mCreator, all the mCreators that you have open. Um, if you have just the snapshot version, that's fine. Uh, you want to basically delete that folder now. And what you want to do is go back to your stable mCreator version. And we're going to import that uh, backup that we made. Because we've basically compiled the code to a higher version, uh, it might not be stable now that we've basically used it as a snapshot. That we're, That's why we backed it up first. So in order to import it, uh, we just basically go to import file. And we go to our desktop. We select our version that we backed up. And we click open. And then what you want to do is backspace and then flight or, or pardon, pardon me, fight or flight. And then you want to uh, click open and then it will basically set up that backup for you on the latest, uh, that last stable version that you made. 
and that will only take a couple minutes to uh, set up. But uh, outside of that, that's all that you need to know to basically test a workspace. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.